<laughs> All right, we're rolling. So the stories that I'm about to tell you in no way, shape, or form involve me doing any kind of dumb shit because <laughs> by the time it got to me, I had watched my older brother and sister do so much dumb shit that I just learned what not to do. So, and I just kind of felt bad for my parents, to be honest. So that's why I'm so amazing. Suck up. So um, we'll start off with... Uh, God, what stupid story can I tell? Oh, so one time Christy and her friends were in my room and you know, they would always hang out late at night and I would go to bed early for school the next day. And um, they were hanging out, her and her friend Arlisha, in my room painting their nails. And she she spilled some, uh, what'd you do? You spit, she, I told her I to be, she was lighting her hand on fire, but it was right near the curtains. And I was on the top bunk of our bunk beds trying to sleep and they're in there cutting up and stuff. And I told her, I said, be careful. You're going to, it's going to catch those curtains. And she's like, no, it's not. It just catches my hand and then it goes out immediately. I said, okay. And then I go back to sleep. And then next thing I know, I hear a bunch of like scrambling around <laughs> and I'm still like half asleep. And I just see Christy and Alicia darting out of the room while I'm sleeping for all she knows. And I look over and the curtains are on fire. And she's just gonna let me lay there sleeping and not even say anything to me. So yeah, that's that's that story. I tried to shake the fire <clears throat> off my hand. And she shook it onto the curtains off. like I said. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, I don't do dumb <laughs> shit. I'm smart. So, uh, oh, okay, this is actually not a too old story. This is actually uh, within the past few years this happened. <laughs> So for my 30th birthday, oh Christy and I went to, we did our whole Europe two week trip and we went all over the place over there. But while in Paris, um, after leaving a magical night at the, the Louvre, right? Mm -hmm. um, we caught the uh, train, the, the subway back to where we were staying or we tried to, but we kept getting lost and we couldn't find our way and navigate the train system. So. We decided we would just get off the subway at the next stop and then just go catch a cab back to where we were staying. So it happens to be that the next stop opens up into a shopping mall. And so we come up out of the subway and we're in this huge shopping mall. Yet all the stores are closed down, but the shopping mall is still open. And so we're trying to find our way up to the street to find a taxi cab and probably a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes goes by of us like aimlessly wandering around this mall trying to find an exit to get out of the mall. At one point we found an exit to like some rooftop terrace thing and it looked like sketchy um, uh, activities were going on up there. <laughs> and so we went back in and tried to find our way out. Well, this whole time Christie's had to use the bathroom. <laughs> And so we're in the shopping mall and of course everything's locked down. There's no stores open or anything, not even bathrooms. So Christy stands in the middle of the shopping mall in Paris and just pees her pants to the point that her boot was full of pee. <laughs> in Paris, how magical was that? <laughs> we. We finally, did we end up catching a taxi no, or we, we finally, walked. We, walked we walked and her sloshing. boot was you sloshing walked. with pee with pissy boot. in Paris. <laughs> this is supposed to be like this magical city and she's sloshing in a pissy boot back to the place of your staying. Yeah, that's the funny story I have on you. I don't have, you know, Bobby protected me, you know, like he would, but you didn't mess with me and I didn't see you do a lot of dumb stuff. I didn't witness a lot of dumb stuff done by Bubby. I didn't. I mean, you were a buffer between me and Bubby, I guess. And then he kind of like would swoop in and save me from you sometimes. So yeah. Yeah, that's what I've got for the pissy boot store. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. Which she still wears those boots by. <laughs> You think that one was coming out? Did anyone know that story? Hey, I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. So one time in Iceland, that's beautiful. One, one time in Iceland, um, 
it was what were we at the school bus stop or something and yeah but you made it home because some guy carried me home <laughs> <laughs> i thought he got us both home i remember so we were out at the bus stop and next thing i know it's just like a white out blizzard like you couldn't see anything actually the way it goes is there was a blizzard coming, and mom, and mom and dad still sent, sent us, us out. out to look for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Ahead of a blizzard. Was ahead of a blizzard. Yeah. yeah, and we got stuck in it. And we got stuck in it, and we were like army crawling back to the apartments, and some guy came and escorted us back we, to our apartment. The wind was blowing so bad yeah. that you couldn't You move. couldn't stand up. And it was a whiteout. Yeah, a whiteout. You couldn't see anything. No, so nothing. We crawled to That's the side of an apartment building. building. Yeah, and scaled the and side of the apartment. Yeah, to the, a pipe, the, the drain, drain pipe. pipe. Yeah, and a guy in a arm in a navy uniform that looked like that yeah. came and picked us up. Oh, that's another story. So when you're like five, four, and six years old, and you're on a base full of men in all the same uniforms, you may or may not <laughs> run up to somebody and say, Dad. "Dad," and then look up and realize it's not your dad and just burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was awful. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. That's all I've got, really. All right. Yeah. <laughs>